Hi, welcome to the Brush and Balkan. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint foul blight spawn. The first colour we're going to be using is Vallejo Russian Uniform World War II, which is this one. We're going to be using that on his shoulder pads and his knee pads. When we come back, we'll have all the Russian uniform painted on. The next colour that we're going to be using is Vallejo Model Air Steel. We're going to be using that on lots of the metallic parts, the tubing, his grenades, his chain mail, that kind of thing. When we come back, all the Model Air steel will be done. Next we're going to be using Vallejo Model Air Rust. Now we're going to be using this to do all the pieces of his armour and some parts of the machinery and stuff that he's got on his back. When we come back, we'll have all the model air brushed done. The next colour that we're going to be using is Citadel Xerius Purple. I'm going to be using that just on the tentacles. When we come back, all the Zarius purple will be finished. Now we're going to be using Citadel of the Car Flesh. We're going to be using that to do all the skulls and the rotten heads. When we come back, we'll have all the Rakar flesh finished. The next colour that we're going to be using is Vallejo Model Colour Dark Flesh. We're going to be using that to do all the tubing. When we come back, all the dark flesh will be finished. Now we're just going to use a little bit of Citadel Nurgling Green. I'm just going to do a little Nurgling to his left. come back the nurgling should be finished 
The next colour that we're going to be using is Vallejo model colour, light green. I'm going to be using that to do the lenses on his eyes and the fluids that are coming out of his backpack. When we come back, all the green will be done. Next we're just going to be using some of the Vallejo model colour black. I'm going to use that for some of the tubing. When we come back, we'll have all the black finished. Now we're going to be doing all the shades. First one I'm going to be using is Citadel Null Oil. I'm going to be using that on all the silvery metallics. When we come back, we'll have all the Nuln oil finished. I'm just going to use a little bit of Citadel my fist on red. I'm going to use that on the holes in the tubing at the back and also on some of the corpse heads. When we come back, we'll have all the red finished. I've just had a little bit of Citadel Retributor armor. And I've added that to this part here. And I've also used a little bit of Vallejo Beige Brown. And that's just to do the hair, so any light brown colour will do on the hair of those models and on the handle there. Now we're going to be using Reichland Flesh Shade Citadel colour. I'm going to be using that on all the bits of our skin on the model, so the nurgling and the corpse heads. When we come back, we'll have all the Reichland flesh shade finished. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of Gilliam and Glue, which is a glaze from Citadel, and I'm going to use that on a couple of the corpse heads at the back. Like so. Now we're just going to use Citadel Seraphim Sepia and that's to do the bulk of the armour and any bone that's on the model. Now we're just going to use some of Grax Earth Shade. I'm going to use that on all of the rust colour and all of the gold. When we come back, we'll have all the Agraxair shade done. 
Next we're going to be using a mix of white and a Ushabti bone. So it's that kind of colour on the bottom right there, nice cream colour. I'm going to be using that to do his armour plates. When we come back, we'll have all the mix done. Now we're going to be doing the first layer of the corrosion on his armour, and that's going to be using Citadel Seraphim Sepia. That's just to do some streaks and runs from the top of the armour working down. When we come back, we'll have all the Seraphim Sepia finished. Next one we're using Citadel Agrax Earthshade, and that's going to be to add some more dark streaks to his armour. When we come back, we'll have all the Agrax Earth Shades finished. Now we're going to do two quick things. We're going to use Citadel Abaddon Black. I'm going to use that just to do the plug at the back here. And also the screen going across here. Come back, we'll have all the bad and black finished. Next, we're going to be using a little bit of Vallejo brass. I'm going to be using that just on this little pipe at the top here. Like so. Next we'll be using Citadel BL Tan Green Shade. I'm going to be using that on a container at the back and any of the drips. Like so. We're quickly going to add a little bit of Seraphim Sepia just to his chain mail and the metal parts just so we can add rust to them at a later point. Like so. Now we're just going to use Citadel Null Oil to do a few little runs on his armour. Like so. Now we're going to do a little bit of work on the corpse heads using a little bit of Citadel Deepkin Flesh, which is one of the new colours.
when we come back we'll have all the Deepkin flesh finished. Next we're just going to use a little bit of Citadel Ultra and Grey. I'm going to use that just to highlight the corpse heads. We come back, have all the old food and grey done. Now we're just mixing a little bit of white with Vallejo light green, and we're going to do some highlights on the liquids. When we finish we'll have all the mix done. Now just add a tiny more white to that, just do one final highlight. Like so. Finally we're adding some pure white and we're just going to do a few little highlights to the liquid. So just going to highlight his eye. And put a white spot on that. I'm just going to touch that up with a little tiny bit of black. Like so. Now we're just going to do a little bit of work on a nurgling. We're going to start by painting the inside of his mouth red. Like so. Now we're going to use a little bit of nurgling green. I'm just going to bring up his skin again. When we come back we'll have all the nurgling green finished. Now I'm just going to use white to do the eyeballs. Totally out of focus there. And the eyeballs at the back here. Using Caraberg Crimson. We're just going to go around each of the eyes and put a little bit of red on all the skull faces.
like so. I'm just going to use a little bit of my fist on reds on that. We're just going to use a little bit of my fist on red on the gauge there, and also a little bit of green. Like so. Now we're going to use Citadel Ricard Flesh. I'm going to use that to do the teeth and the skulls. Just going to add a little bit of Seraphim Sapphire to the bottom of this skull. Seems to have missed that bit. We'll come back to that in a moment. Like so. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of Citadel Ushabti bone. I'm going to use that on the skulls. Like so. I'm just going to use a little bit of a bad and black just to do the eyeballs. Like so. Now I'm going to use some Citadel Juicy Violet. I'm going to use that just to darken the tentacle a little. Like so. Next we're going to be using Nihilac Oxide. I'm going to be using that on all the brass coloured parts. When we come back, we'll have all the Nihilac Oxide done. The next colour is going to be Citadel Emperor's Children. I'm going to use that just to do the final highlight on the tentacle. Like so. I'm going to use Vallejo German Grey. And that is going to be just to do a little highlight on the rubber tubing at the back there on his face mask. Like so. Now I'm going to use Sisdell Typhus Corrosion. And that is just to do a little bit of textured paint on the areas where there's going to be plenty of rust. When we come back we'll have all the typhus corrosion finished. The final colour that we're going to use is Sisdell Riser Rust, the dry paint. That is just to add a little bit of orange on top of the textured typhus corrosion and that gives it a nice rusty look.
like so. I'm just going to use a little bit of Avalon Sunset mixed with white to give a nice pustule colour. We're just going to do all the pustules on the model with this. like so. And finally we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo red wash and that's just going to be to put around those pustules that you just painted. Touching up the yellow on some of those that have gone over a bit too much. And there you have your finished foul blight spawn. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to any of our other social media link below. Thanks very much.